Hello, it's Steve White, Trek Boy 89 for Steve White's 89. Well, we've got a little bit of news about um, Strange New Worlds. Now, um, there hasn't been much. Um, the main thing, the main sort of selling point with this series, it, we know, that we're very familiar with. They're basically saying, this show is going to be serialised. I mean, not serialised. <laughs> like the other series, we're heavily serialised. It's going to be episodic. We're actually going to have individual, not only just separate stories, but individual styles of stories. And that was sort of the big revelation. Them sort of saying, like the original series and Next Gen, we will be able to be more flexible where we can go from like a horror episode one week to a whimsical comedic episode the next week. And um, that element that is missing from Discovery and Picard. Um, they're very dark, they're very grim, and they're all one story just told in chapters, so you just get little pieces of the story, so you never really get the feeling of watching an episode. Um, maybe if you stream it, it's like a long movie, um, but individually they just don't work. Um, so get, doing this is going to be a huge change, but we do know they'd said this from the start. They said it was going to be more optimistic, more like the original series, and going to be episodic. But they're still going to have character arcs that are going to go through the whole season, which is fine. They always had that on Next Gen. Um, tiny little bit of it in um, the original Star Trek. But Gene wanted it to be very individual episodes so people can walk into an episode and not need to know somebody's backstory or what's happened for the last five episodes. So we knew that. But the, the main things that we've heard are superficial, which is fine. Um... Basically, Akiva Goldsman has said that they're going to try and make this show not just feel like the original series, but look like the original series. That they've tweaked the um, the costumes from second season of Discovery, and I was kind of okay with them. I mean, the original series costumes were very comfortable. They were very modern. They didn't look like uniforms. That was kind of the point. They were supposed to look like casual clothes. They were supposed to be comfortable. Um, and something you would want to wear, as opposed to a uniform, which is just very old-fashioned and traditional and basic, um, so far as looking at stuff like military. So I was happy with that costume, and this new one, it does look very stiff and uncomfortable, but it does sort of have something to the structure of it that kind of works. The only thing that really didn't work was the collar, and I'm guessing, I'm hoping that's what they're going to fix. Um, the issue of having the, the two two parts of the collar and um, that wasn't so much the issue, it's just the size and the way that the, 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 the part that went over the other part was just too big and would stick out. And from some angles it would look fine, but other angles it would just look really ridiculous, like they're wearing like scarves around the necks or something, it just didn't work. So hopefully they just fix that, whether it's reining it in or whether it's actually replacing it with a more traditional collar. Um, they may even go the route of the, um, the JJ films where you have no collar on the actual shirt, but then you have an uh, undershirt, um, which is what they did in those movies. And they also did that on the, um, the Axanar, the new Axanar um, costumes for the second and third parts, or the, depending on how you look at it, the fourth and fifth parts. <clears throat> So there's that. And the other thing is they also refer to the sets, saying they were going to try and make the sets look more like the original series. Whereas in Season 2 of Discovery, we just had um, a couple of redressed sets from Discovery, and you didn't really get... Um, you didn't really see the ship. You sort of saw a little bit of it in short treks, and God, God willing, they go away from the... Um, the elevator, the turbo shift shafts that are just like these giant cavernous areas which doesn't make any sense. No starships waste that kind of space um, and the Enterprise doesn't have any space like that on it. So hopefully that's another element that will change but they're basically saying that you should really be able to sort of close your eyes and look, I mean, look at the series and close your... How do you put Basically you should be able to picture how, the series when you're watching this, the 60s series. It should make you think of that. It should feel like what that's connected basically um, and the thing that gives me some faith with this is when you look at Batman Returns and Batman and Robin they were very colourful 
very bright, very strong visually, a bit over the top, but um, he wasn't afraid to make a strong image and a strong design and use colour, and these are things the original series did quite well. So I'm a little bit optimistic, and also I did just realise that Akiva Goldsman actually worked on um, Fringe, and I liked Fringe. I have every season, I, I have only watched the first season on DVD. I mean, I watched it on TV and then I bought the DVDs and haven't watched them, because I don't have a lot of time. Um, but I did like that series, so even though he worked on Picard, and he's still working on Picard as a showrunner, he's showrunning both of them, I would like to think they're capable of creating two very different shows with different feels, different energies, different formats, um, different storytelling. I'd, I would like to think they're capable of that. If this is just Picard, but, um, you know, with individual stories, it's not going to work because Picard doesn't look or feel like Star Trek, and this has to look and feel like Star Trek if they want people to respond to it like Star Trek and Star Trek fans to respond to it like they would the other series. Um, because they haven't responded too well to this, um, to Picard and Discovery. So I'm feeling, I'm trying to be optimistic. I, I actually am optimistic about this series. I, I've had moments of imagining watching it and enjoying it. Um, and, and the idea of reviewing it and not trashing it like um, Discovery and Picard, which I didn't try to trash any of them in my reviews, but I just had so many issues with the episodes that they just ended up being rants. So... Yes, I'm feeling optimistic, but we've only really heard very superficial comments like the costumes and the sets. Um, they haven't really gone into any any character elements, any of the overall story elements um, in the series. Is it the anxieties they're going to have, sort of, is this going to be like Picard and Discovery? It's going to have the same feel, the same look, same direction, everything like that. It's just going to be you know, smaller stories, not one giant story in different chapters like they did the other two series. But um, I'm feeling optimistic that they can actually create something different and they're actually going to do that. If that's their intention, they've got the resources, they should be able to do it. And the idea that, well, the Discovery fans can watch Discovery and the original Star Trek fans can watch Strange New Worlds, um, that makes sense. The idea that they can actually cater to different audiences because they've created this new audience with Discovery, it's not as big or as um, fanatical as the original series following. Um, they don't buy merchandise, they don't support the show in a lot of ways, but um, they do exist, and just turning Discovery into the original series or turning Discovery more like Next Gen or something to make fans happy would have been a betrayal to Discovery and um, the fans of that and the people that watch that watch the show. So I'm fine with them just making another series and making it different rather than trying to change Discovery into something it's never going to be, which is Star Trek. So I'm very optimistic, I'm very hopeful. I don't know why. I had such a bad experience with Discovery and Picard, but I just, I just have faith that if they want to create something different, they can and they will. And I don't see any point in telling people like me we're going to get Star Trek from Strange New Worlds and then handing us Picard or Discovery, because... <laughs> We didn't accept Picard or Discovery. We're certainly not going to, um, not going to be any more chance of us accepting it when we've actually been promised something different. So we'll see. Um, there really wasn't much more news. They, they did talk a little bit about Picard as well, implying that they're going to allow Q to age so he can relate to um, Picard. Now I can understand Q sort of allowing his human body to age, and something he goes in and out and sort of studying it as sort of a creation. From, of himself, that could work. I'm not sure how they're going to do it and what's really going to mean, but um, they're saying that he's basically going to um, just understand Picard with aging, and there are elements of um, that in the script and that. So that's yeah, sort, of, sort of interesting. I mean, it's kind of unavoidable. They couldn't really make him look 20 years younger, and he wouldn't age. But the character aged on the original series, original TNG series. If you look at, um, of course, Q from the season one and season seven, he did look different. He did age, so the idea that he's going to allow his body to age um, seems to make sense to me. And that's the only really bit of news I felt we got from um, Picard. Um, and I'm not going to go into that because it's really just really very basic. We haven't seen anything yet. We haven't seen any pictures. We haven't got any footage from Picard or, of course, Strange New Worlds. 
it's all coming, it's going to take a while and we're just going to be patient and hopefully we won't have the same experience we had with Discovery where we were expecting Star Trek and we got something different and then told we were wrong and then told it was going to change and then it did but it didn't and more of the same. Um, and I'm kind of fine with that. I'm fine with Discovery existing if they acknowledge it's a different universe and that they make other shows that you know are more like Star Trek for Star Trek fans and they're catering for different elements of the fandom and, and sci-fi fandom in general. That kind of makes sense to me, so I'm not that bothered by it. As long as Strange New Worlds is good, I can cope. But um, yeah, I'm going to go. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think of the news um, and the likelihood of it being a very Star Trek show. I'm still, I'm still choosing to be optimistic. Thanks, bye.